Once upon a time, in the 15th and 16th centuries, a small nation nestled on the western edge of the Iberian Peninsula embarked on an extraordinary journey of discovery and innovation. This was the Portuguese Golden Age, a period often referred to as the Portuguese Renaissance. To understand this remarkable era, let's delve into its background, explore the Portuguese achievements in exploration, cartography, navigation, art, and science, and discuss how it eventually gave way to the rise of other European nations. During the Renaissance, Portugal drew diplomats, traders, students, humanists, scholars, and artists from all across Europe. The Age of Discovery's marine trade was critical to the formation of the Portuguese Renaissance. Trade increased ties with significant hubs of the Italian Renaissance, allowing a new commercial class to prosper and have sufficient means to become patrons of the Portuguese Renaissance, much like the other European Renaissances. The Portuguese Renaissance was fueled by a convergence of factors. Firstly, Portugal had a long-standing tradition of maritime exploration and trade, dating back to the time of the Moors. Additionally, the country's strategic location along the Atlantic coast provided easy access to the vast, unexplored ocean. The marriage of Prince Henry the Navigator to English Princess Philippa of Lancaster also brought new ideas and resources to the kingdom. The Portuguese, under the leadership of Prince Henry, were determined to find new trade routes to bypass the monopolistic hold of the Italians and Arabs. They established navigation schools, known as naval colleges, in Sagres, where the brightest minds of the time gathered to study cartography, astronomy, and shipbuilding. This emphasis on education and research laid the foundation for the remarkable achievements to come. During the Portuguese Renaissance, there was a plethora of technical works being created, such as Mapa Mundi, globes, treatises on the art of sailing, scripts, reports of shipwrecks, itineraries, and studies on tropical medicine. In the field of exploration, Portuguese navigators ventured fearlessly into the unknown. Bartholomew Dias, in 1488, became the first European to sail around the southernmost tip of Africa, aptly named the Cape of Good Hope. This discovery opened up the lucrative sea route to the Indian Ocean. Inspired by Dias's success, Vasco da Gama embarked on a daring expedition in 1497 and ultimately reached India, securing direct access to the coveted spice trade. To aid their explorations, the Portuguese excelled in the art of cartography. Master mapmakers, such as Pedro Reynal and Diogo Ribeiro, produced detailed charts that revolutionized navigation. The legendary map known as the Cantino Planisphere, created around 1502, showcased the Portuguese discoveries and the accurate representation of newly encountered lands. Portuguese sailors honed their navigation skills and techniques, they developed the astrolabe and quadrant, instruments used to measure celestial bodies' angles, enabling more precise determination of latitude at sea. The development of the caravel, a swift and maneuverable ship, further facilitated their maritime endeavors. Amidst these extraordinary achievements in exploration and navigation, the Portuguese Golden Age also witnessed significant advancements in art and science. Artists like Nuno Goncalves and Vasco Fernandes, known as Grau Vasco, brought forth a distinct Portuguese artistic style, characterized by a blend of Flemish and Italian influences. Their works depicted scenes from religious life, royal courts, and even the first representations of indigenous peoples encountered during the voyages. With Vasco da Gama's arrival in India and the Portuguese Empire's expansion into that land, Many scientists were sent eastward to study and compile new drugs from medicinal plants. Scientific progress during this era was exemplified by the work of Portuguese polymath Garcia de Orta. His book, Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas da India, Conversations on the Simples and Drugs of India, contributed greatly to the field of botany and pharmacology, documenting the medicinal properties of various plants from the Portuguese colonies. However, despite these notable achievements, the Portuguese Golden Age eventually declined, giving way to the rise of other European powers. 
One crucial factor was the tremendous financial strain caused by maintaining an extensive overseas empire. The costs of exploration, colonization, and maintaining trading posts drained the Portuguese treasury. Additionally, Portugal faced increasing competition from other European nations, particularly Spain, England, and the Netherlands, who sought their own share of the lucrative spice trade. In 1580, Portugal fell under Spanish rule due to the death of King Sebastian and a succession crisis. The union with Spain lasted for 60 years and had a profound impact on Portugal's status as a leading maritime power. It wasn't until 1640, with the Portuguese Restoration War, that Portugal regained its independence. However, by then, other European nations had surpassed the Portuguese in maritime dominance and global influence. The Portuguese Golden Age, or Portuguese Renaissance, remains a testament to the spirit of exploration, innovation, and artistic expression. It stands as a reminder of the remarkable achievements of a small nation that left an indelible mark on the world. Through their bold voyages, groundbreaking cartography, scientific contributions, and artistic endeavors, the Portuguese not only expanded human knowledge, but also laid the groundwork for the age of European exploration that followed.